Hurts tonight. Backwards. And it is a breaking ball. Swerver was ready. How far does this go? Second deck. Kyle Swerver tees off. Two nothing Phillies. Woo! Let's talk about this. 488 feet and 120 miles. Woo! Let's talk about this technique or me mechanics. Let's see. I'm about to give you a video critique about this guy, Kyle. He went right here. I can see he's still, the front foot in the, is still in the ground when he's loading. He don't load yet. He's chill, chill, chill. That's his rhythm, by the way. He start picking it up, his front foot, at the same time, he start separate, the picture starts separating back, okay? Some people start a little late, some people start a little earlier, but normally this is the most earlier that you can start, because you don't want to start just because the front foot go up of the picture, because normally pitchers do crazy stuff with their front foot or whatever, with their front leg, or whatever. So here when they got the motion of the arm, normally I would start picking it up my front foot. Now. Here, when the arm is on top, out to release, you see their front foot is in the air in the peak of the load, and you can see the back pocket to the pitcher really good. That already he getting all his power in his back leg really good. Now he released the ball. He start going forward. He's still coiled. I like it. Back pocket still to the pitcher when he go forward. But as you can see, when he go forward. When he start touching the ground, his front shoulder start going stay stay down, really good. Knob stay to the catcher, really good right there. All right. And I feel, wow, that was hanging there in the middle. All right. Look at that. Catcher asked for this pitch being low. That's a problem. <laughs> More when you want to throw something slow, 80, 87 miles, that's not hard enough. So it was a, it was too high for the catcher what, what he asked for. Okay. Then after that, when he land, front shoulder go up, really good. Barrel start working back, right behind the shoulders, going back. I promise you, it's like that. It's going back. I know some of y'all thinking going straight to the ball, but it's not like that. And then from there, wow, look at the back leg separation. So the back leg start breaking to the ball and the shoulders are still not turning, like going up too much yet. So that create a good separation in the core, creating such a force to bring the hands quicker. Oh, Woo! good tilt position. Good tilt position right there. That's why you have to go up right here when you start turning. So the shoulders start getting tilt when you get here, right there. Now, after that, I want you to focus on this. I know a lot of y'all focus too much in that back foot. That back foot, let's just focus in that back foot. Just look the back foot, everybody. That back foot never move. He just turned that back foot. So I know some of y'all like, like to jump forward with the back foot or move it back, scissor work or whatever. I think that's something that is it's all about adjustability and it's not like one way with the back foot, okay? Uh, he seemed like he just stayed back and turned on that thing. He don't look like he jumping and nothing. His back foot basically did nothing but turn. He don't move. I don't even. He don't even move out of the ground, right? I don't saying this is the right way. I'm just saying maybe we can talk, uh, think about how we thinking too much about the back foot. We don't have to. And that's what happened. And then after that, look at what happened. Tonight backwards. And it is a breaking ball. Swerver was ready. You see Bryce Harper? Even Bryce Harper was surprised. What the heck? So Bryce Harper can hit those two. So imagine how good he hit that ball. So that's what I got for that mechanic. If you like this, I'm gonna keep bringing more things like this. And I'm gonna, I, I may be gonna try to bring more up. Uh, if I seen something weird, but in this video, I wanna you may focus, like uh, you make sure that you focus on things that I bring, they may be work for you mechanic. When he start loading, you see how he start loading, he start loading a little early. And then he can he hang in the back leg so he can be able to stay back. And the back foot don't jump or don't do the scissor thing. You know, like the back foot going the other way, nah. 
you just basically stay back and react. Uh, if you hit like him, make sure you do the right thing. But normally, good hitters got some essentials in their mechanics to make it happen. If you like it, subscribe, CastroBrosTV.com. I'm coming for more every day, people. Every day. I love y'all.